Welcome to AeroV Reports 3.3. In 3.3, we've introduced a whole new way to visualize weather. Let's take a look at the new Vertical Weather Profile tool. To use the Vertical Weather tool, we will first want to create a route and, as usual, verify our departure date and time is correct up to eight days in the future. Let's try Kansas City to Cumberland. The departure time is currently set for 4.47 p.m. today. You will find the Vertical Weather Profile in the Base Maps menu. Let's tap on the vertical profile and the tool will be displayed. This tool analyzes sounding information across your route of flight and displays high dew point saturation levels as clouds. Before we utilize this information, it's important to verify the valid date located here. The approximate times of station passage are displayed across the top as well as various overlay options to declutter the screen. Air SIG or airmets and SIGMETs are advisories which can be displayed if your departure time is coming up in the next few hours. Wind being wind barbs. You may zoom in by pinching and pan for a closer look. If your departure is coming up in the next few hours, the vertical tool will analyze METARs, TAFs, and radar imagery at each station. The weather depiction at the bottom of each station is derived from the approximate date time of station passage. For example, Mike Charlie Whiskey is indicating TAF information is used. Tapping on the station reveals the current METAR. Let's try a different route, Des Moines to Louisville. We can overlay airmets over the tool to see altitude ranges for each advisory. For example, we see various turbulence pyreps from flight level 250 to flight level 400 and various icing airmets near the surface. Pyreps are also depicted and tappable for more information. Notice we now have some snow and some rain depicted. Precipitation tops is based on the highest saturation point in the sounding to reduce clutter. If the dew point depression from the sounding is low, the precipitation will show at all altitudes. Remember, with spotty weather and particularly convection, the precipitation clouds may be significantly higher in specific areas. Let's try Atlanta to November Charlie 1-2. The precipitation may be depicted from METAR information, forecast in a TAF, or detected on radar. If lightning strikes are detected in the area or heavy echoes, the precipitation will report a thunderstorm. Let's try Jacksonville to Orlando. Notice at each station, if the cape exceeds 500, the cape and convective inhibition is indicated at each station near the top. For example, at Foxtrot India November, the cape is 1,240, while the convective inhibition is negative 4. Finally, let's take a look at a flight tomorrow morning from Mike Hula Charlie to Uniform Bravo Echo. Notice some stations do not have a TAF. In those cases, GFS MOS is used. GFS MOS is also used for stations beyond the TAF period. Remember, however, some stations do not have a TAF or GFS MOS. As typical most nights, a nocturnal temperature inversion exists, and we see multiple freezing levels depicted on the vertical tool. The orange line indicates the level the temperature inversion exceeds freezing, and the second freezing level is depicted above. Only one temperature inversion is currently supported in this tool. You can also fly with the vertical tool. Once you've loaded the information in the few hours before a flight, the information is cached and available offline. Your aircraft will be depicted on the vertical tool. We hope you've enjoyed a closer look at AeroView Reports 3.3. Your support and feedback is much appreciated.